guys, how's it going? I am getting ready to plant up a couple of my pots with some spring stuff this morning. And I actually decided to not plant up a single thing all spring because Aaron and I are actually moving in about a month. Um, in January, we sold both of our places, which had been on and off the market for like three years. So we've waited a long time and this spring has been just crazy with how everything's working out. Um, but we're really excited to show you where we're moving. We have lots more space, so we'll be able to do a lot more gardening and a lot more videos. So probably see my stack of pots. I'm like starting to clean stuff out and get stuff ready to move. But down at the nursery where I work, we are getting in tons of gorgeous plants and I just can't help myself. I have to at least plant up the pots by my front door because we are gonna be here for another month. So I want to be able to look at something really pretty and they can move with me. So that's how I'm rationalizing it. Let's go to the front door. So these are the two pots that I'm gonna be planting. And I have a burgundy door that I've never really loved at this place. Um, but I think that all of these plants will be super pretty and will complement that color. So let me show you what I've got going. So I'm going to use a Ice Dance Carex, a Mahogany Hookera. Look at that gorgeous leaf color. I love it. A Helleborus. And this one, let me see the variety. Okay, so this one's called Platinum Rose. Really pretty. And then a really pretty bright white iris because it's just super gorgeous this spring. And this is kind of the crowning jewel. This is a Foxley Thyme, and I have never planted one of these before, and I didn't know that they are actually hardy in our area. They are a zone five. But look at all the colors in that. It like draws all of these, like brings them all together. So anyway, I think I'm gonna tuck that in right on along one side. That's kind of what I've got going on uh, as far as plants go. Uh, so I'm gonna go get a tripod or a chair or something to set this camera on so I can show you guys how it all comes together. Hey Aaron. Yeah. Can you help me get this set up? Yes. What are you working on? I need a tripod or something. Or you could hold it. I have just the thing. Do you want to hold it while I plant? Well, it might be, uh, might be unstable if I hold it. Planters are all done. Um, before I move on to my next project for the day, I thought I would talk a little bit more about each one of these plants. Um, so let me turn the camera around. Okay, so the Helleborus right here is the Helleborus Gold Collection Platinum Rose. And it is a zone five, hardy to negative 20. A lot of you guys asked me questions um, a little bit more specific about the plant, so I thought I'd show you some of the tags. The next one is this mahogany hookah right here. There's the tag. And hardy to negative 25. You see that there? Zone 4. Really tough. Of course, this little white one a lot of you are probably really familiar with. It's a super common spring blooming flower called Iberus or Pur uh, Purity, is the variety, also known as Candy Tuft. And this one is hardy to negative 30, which is a zone 4. So we like those types of plants. Really great ones. And then one of my favorites in this whole container, this Foxley Thyme. There's how you spell it. And it's zone five, hardy to negative 20. Evergreen, but all that color. I love stuff that you can use for the color in its foliage. And last one is this Carex, which is called Ice Dance. And focused, hardy to negative 20. Anyway, so I hope that's helpful for you guys to see the names of the plants and a little bit more info about them. I think that these turned out super pretty, just the whole combination of color um, and the fact too that they're, they're all perennials is awesome. So I can use these plants out in the landscape later on in the season. So that's it for this morning. We are gonna go ahead to the nursery and do a few more projects and hopefully some updates that you guys have really been asking to see. So we will see you in the next video, bye.